does the NFL help you um, face some of those other issues that come off the field for people with fame and fortune of being a professional football player? Well, you hit it on the head. There are a lot of issues that you face. Uh, it's more, unfortunately, than just playing football. Um, but we have a league uh, that has really gone out of its way to um, try to protect the players from some of the dangers out there. You know, we have uh, our player engagement director, uh, Kevin Anderson, does a great job of educating the young players as far as what to expect, uh, what comes along with uh, a big paycheck, what comes along with fame and attention, um, and trying to be disciplined in certain areas of your life. So the NFL, you know, they have a number of programs out there, starting with the symposium when you come in, that try to educate the players of, you know, these are some of the hazards, some of the obstacles that you may face, and um, here's how you can defeat those, and uh, I think they do a great job of that. Um, what it was the hardest part off the field in transitioning from uh, the college game to the pro game with respect to all the multitude of distractions that must come with being a pro athlete? Right. I think for me it was uh, learning how to say no. Um, you're asked to do so many different things. Um, you're asked maybe to borrow money, people want to borrow money, appearances, and you have to learn how to say no. Um, and for me that was a tough thing because I you know, I don't want to be seen as a rude guy or a guy that's not willing to help out, but there's just so many demands on your plate that you, you have to pick and choose which ones are important to you, which ones you can do without, you know, conflicting with your football schedule. Um, and once you find that balance, I think you'll be able to have some success from there. But finding that balance of when to say no and yes is big. What educational services have you taken advantage of uh, since entering the league with respect to uh, what the NFL uh, provides for the various boot camps and um, training for um, people to start to not make that transition just yet. We can get to that. <laughs> uh, but what educational services have you taken advantage of? Well, I think there have been a number of them, starting, as I said, uh, with the symposium coming into the league. And I've always been a guy that's tried to have, maintain a relationship with our player engagement director. Uh, I'm also a member of our union. So I've really been able to learn a lot from that side of things. Uh, being involved in the union and being involved with uh, some of the decision making that goes on behind the scenes. Um, you know, I've also participated in the Rookie Symposium as a speaker um, and trying to educate some of those young guys. So uh, I think for me, just being involved, being aware of what was going on around me was important as opposed to just uh, letting things go on that I had no clue. Uh, I think just educating myself uh, through involvement was important. Uh, let's talk about the union for a minute. You've been a player rep uh, with, the, with the union as well? Yes, sir. How active is the union in trying to ensure that the players receive the, the benefits they're entitled to and the services they need through the various programs that the NFL provides? Uh, that's really their, their top priority. They want to make sure that our players get fair treatment, that our players are educated as far as what's available to them um, post-career, during their career. Um, and they really went out of their way during our last negotiation to ensure that the players were getting, you know, taken care of, so to speak, as far as benefits are concerned, as far as health and safety is concerned, as far as uh, even uh, continuing uh, education post-career. So uh, the union, their number one priority is, is taking care of our players uh, on and off the football field, and, and I think they do a great job of that. You know, we hear of the, the fights between the union and the NFL at times when it blows up, but how closely do they work together to benefit the players? Listen, that's, that's part of it. That's part of labor relations. Sure. Those things are going to happen, um, you know, with business. So we all understand that. And uh, really, it wouldn't have gotten done if cooler heads hadn't prevailed. So cooler heads prevailed. Uh, we were able to come together. We had some great leadership on both sides of the fence that uh, – that made things happen and, and has our game as successful as it's ever been now. Mm -hmm. What advice do you give when you participate in the symposia for the new players? What advice do you have that uh, to help ease their transition? I think the biggest thing as a new player is first things first, focus on football. Because if you're not taking care of your business on the football field, you're not going to be around very long. Um, and then from there, I think Learning to balance your finances and, and how you spend is big. You hear the horror stories of guys that have uh, blown away fortunes, and, and some of that is, is not all their fault. Uh, you have to be wise in your decision making. You have to be careful. You have to do your due diligence when it comes to certain things. And I think that's what I try to encourage young guys. You know, when you leave this game, you'd like to be able to have something to show for it. We have a tremendous opportunity 
It's the best part-time job you'll ever have as far as giving yourself a head start into life and into your next career. Does the NFL provide uh, benefits with respect to financial education for players with respect to how they should invest, how they should spend, and how they should think about what happens after their days on the field are over? Uh, no question. And I, again, I'll go back to our, our player engagement director, Kevin Anderson, and what, uh, what you do as a rookie is you have pretty much meetings year-round, and these meetings educate you in a number of different fields, but a big one is the finance field because it's such a big issue for our young players. Um, and they have us speak with financial advisors, planners, et cetera, as far as decision making when it comes to your money. Um, the NFL and the union have uh, financial advisors that they've approved of that they will refer to guys. So uh, they really do a great job of making sure that you know, young men, we know this is a big responsibility upon you, but we're going to try to do everything we can to help you be successful in managing those finances. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.